hi welcome back so let's have another animation bow and arrow animation in flash once again so this is how this animation is working and you can see that I have got four layers in this animation one is the background layer second layer on the second layer I have this target in the third layer I have uh, the this uh, bow and in the fourth layer I have the arrow so I have already downloaded this background and this one you can make on your own uh, and so there are three things that I have made on my own the first one is this target and second one is this uh, bow and third one is the arrow so for this let's take a new file and I just as I told you I googled out that background image so I'm just importing that and let's say go to file and import to stage and then you can rename the layer so I'm going to rename this as background layer so uh, this is the you if you want to download that target so try to download the PNG image okay now I'm going to just uh, scale it to the full screen like this right after that I need my uh, that target so first name it as background and then create a new layer name it as target And then you need to create your target right so I have created using the oval tool and take the pencil color as black and for this no fill okay. and you just make the target on your own like this so this way you can create the target We shift it so I just shift it up and once more okay and then just fill the color let's fill the color over here first I'll take the blue color let's fill the color First, I'll fill the. Let me fill the blue color here, and over here I'll fill the yellow color. Then I'll take the red color. Then let's take um, dark green color. Or just take the black color. Right. So this way I have created the target. You can create more circles and add more colors then I'm just going to make it smaller like this and let's shift it to our scene you can further make it smaller if you want to right after that let's create another layer where I'm going to create the bow so this is the bow layer now let's take the line tool and let's see the properties I'm going to change the thickness a little bit ok and then uh, let's create another line make it larger and just shift it to the left side now let's just click on this selection tool and then click on this try to bend it like this so it will act as an bow and just shift it over here like this you can make it larger if you want to with the scale tool you can make it larger right 
now uh, let's make it from now we have the next layer we will take another new layer where we will make the arrow okay leave it as arrow and let's create the arrow now again we'll take the line two and this is how you can create the arrow right. so now it is being shifted now it's time to give the animation effect for this first of all i have to animate the bow this string pulls towards you yeah right so i'll just create a keyframe and send a keyframe and for this what you can do is insert a blank keyframe or you just insert keyframe here insert one keyframe here so that they are visible okay now after inserting what you have to do just take your select tool and just bend it like this okay now let's create another keyframe and in this one just bring it back Similarly, you have to repeat this process so that the strings has a good animation effect, right? Insert another keyframe, put it back like this. Similarly, I will animate the arrow. So let's insert a keyframe and when the this string is pulled towards you the arrow will be shifted like this okay and in next one it will shift a little bit here and over here i just want that it should aim towards the target like this right so we can insert the keyframes here instead of that let's see first of all let's play that okay so what is not visible the oh an arrow Okay, so let's insert the keyframes here as well. And then play it again. See, uh, you know, if you want this string to have more animation, you just uh, insert some more keyframes and then just move it back and forth. right and again click outside with the selection tool you need to do it in uh, next keyframe just put it back so this way you know you can give more deep effect to the string right one more this let's see right so this way it is going to work after leaving the arrow the string vibrates so this is how you can make it uh, the string vibrate by adding keyframes and making changes i hope it uh, satisfy your query and if you have any query again you can ask me in the comment section do like the video share it and subscribe explore and be awesome thank you